Hey, welcome back to Feral Art, or welcome to Feral Art. How you doing? Today is my birthday. Well, when you're seeing this, is my birthday. Today is Tuesday. Means nothing. It's also Easter when you're seeing this, as it turns out. Uh, which I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing for views, but here we are. I felt like kind of going retro old school today. Um, so I have mixed my paints with Floetrol only and a little bit of water in the case of one of them. And uh, <laughs> it looked like I did a little dance. I was moving my tripod. Anyway, um, so my colors are Master's Touch Turquoise Deep. Thank you, Sarah Mac. Um, Artist Loft Metallic Purple. Deco Art 24K. Amsterdam Permanent Red Violet. Chroma Curl White. That's the one that needed water. That Chroma Curl White is so thick in the bottle. And my base coat slash flow extender is a mixture of leftovers. There's some, I don't know, dioxazine violet, dioxazine purple, silver, and primary blue that I know of. Lord knows what else is in there. So, <laughs> with all that being said, and Sarah Mack having given me the, the lovely Master's Touch Turquoise Deep, which I wouldn't buy, but it sure is a pretty color, and I sure did take it as a gift. Um, I thought, well, if I'm going to go old school and I'm doing this here, Let's just do a galaxy pour. I have not done a galaxy pour, y'all, in I don't even know how long. It's been a minute. And I love them. I think, huh, I was telling Nate, I think it's my favorite technique. But maybe that's just today, and maybe it's just because I haven't done one in a while. Because I'm fickle, y'all. Are you fickle? Do you like one thing one day, and the next day you're like, eh. That's me. Anyway, let's get down on the canvas and see what we can make happen. Okay, happy day. That took a minute. So, here's my lovely base. It really is a pretty color. But, yeah, anyway. It's a little thinner than my other paints. Oh, look at those fun metallic. Whoop, 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 whoop. Fun times. A tilting we did go. Alrighty, now we're just gonna put down this little puddle. To pour into. Okay, now we're gonna do our cup. First in the bottom, a tiny, and I do mean tiny bit of white. some gold this turquoise deep and then a little white and a little gold And a little white. And then purple.
custom brulee sitting here. And I adore brulee. Liven it up a little bit. And I am going to dirty pour right into the middle. There we go. That ought to make some interesting things happen. We shall see. All right, let's bring our canvas back before it dries. Here we have our cup. Here we go. There we go. She pretty. She got a lot of color. And we're just going to straight pour right into this puddle. go a tilting. Let's move it around a little bit. Just a little. Oof. She's hard to hang on to. I'm going to try to tilt slowly. I am so used to the gel gloss medium that this seems really thin. got a lot, a lot of paint on here. turn it around but it's just it's too, hold, too hard to hold on to these thinner canvases with the small pins and stuff so y'all just gotta have to suffer a little that gold off. Why, you say? Because it's mine. And the top is really pretty. Oh, I think that looks cool. I think that looks really cool. gotta do things a little bit different. I'm gonna try to 
get that off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Come on. You can do it. There we go. <laughs> Saved by the bell. I'm liking it so much. And we're down to enough paint being gone. Yay. I think that is so flipping cool. Often I get aggravated with myself because of putting so much paint on the canvas, which I am somewhat habitual about. But in this case, if I hadn't put all the extra paint on the canvas, then I could not have afforded to pull off that middle that I really wasn't that fond of. I mean, I like it now, it's, it's cool, it's like shooting. But if I had put on just the amount of paint I was supposed to, I wouldn't have been able to got this. So yay for me, yay, thumbs up. Paper towel gone, thumbs up, yay. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna get it over yonder to dry and I will bring you in for a close up. Okay, here are the wet results of my old school straight pour flow trial and paint only except for the white which had some water. <laughs> I find this to be aesthetically very pleasing. Now, I don't know look at those lines man wowie little cells popping up here and there little air bubbles popping and doing things but the reason i wanted so badly to save this top was because of this i thought that was just the coolest thing ever and i wasn't real fond of that gold middle anyway so Away she went. I like it this way, though. I think it looks really neat. The fingerlings are really cool. We got boulder cells happening over here. I really, really like this one. A lot. A lot, a lot. Like, ridiculously so. This big patch right here of white is actually where that brulee went down and played with things and between the brulee effects and the effects from the chroma krill white we just really got a cool patch of big old stuff i really as i said really like this one so yay i am so glad because i needed a really needed to really like one and i really like this one so how cool is that i will see you in a bit sparkly sparklies little sparklies not so little sparklies yeah now keep in mind we've got 24k this purple is also metallic although it's artist loft metallic so it's not crazy metallic uh, I like it a lot. Look at that. I'm digging my own work for a change. It's good. I love, love this section right here. I think this is just amazingly, phenomenally cool. And you know our 24K, she gonna sparkle. I like the way that it mixed with that turquoise and we got just little bitty green outlines. I think that is amazing. It looks kind of like that um, metallic cobalt blue where it turned green like that. Look at here. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, brulee. I love that. That is so pretty. Anyway. <laughs> I might be infatuated with my own work. 
So anyway, what was that? Oh, wow. That's neat. Anyway, I will be back when this is dry. Here are the dry results of my galaxy pour that I got to fiddle around with. And I am still deeply liking it. Um, it did dry a little darker, which I expected. And all these places that you see that look kind of white may be the white, but they're also that brulee that I dirty poured down the middle. It ends up grouping itself a little bit, but not entirely. I think this thing is pretty awesome. And, you know, I'm not often very in love with my own stuff. And I'm not going to say I'm in love with it, but I'm pretty deeply infatuated. This corner down here is pretty amazing. All those big boulder cells. But that right there, a lot of that, the white white that you see traveling through it is the chroma curl white. But that white kind of foggy, beautiful looking stuff, that is our brulee at work. So, yeah. I think this turned out really well. I'm very, very pleased with it. I like the way that I was able to knock that kind of wonky middle down to the bottom and leave it looking like it's shooting up fire from the bottom or something. I just think it's really pretty. Happy birthday to me. Ha ha ha. Before you go, make sure that subscribe button is pushed and ring that bell so you'll know when I'm making new content. Give me a thumbs up if you like this painting. Leave me a comment because I like to talk to you. Sometimes I'll get back to you for a couple of days, but that don't mean I don't love you. It just means life gets lifey. So thank you so much for coming. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for ringing in my new birth year. Uh, I'm old. Just turned 60. Not old. Just you know, well-aged. And uh, <laughs> y'all have a good one. And I will see you next time. <laughs>